Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at the Victrix Pro AF headset. Now that's not the uh, ANC version, it's just the regular uh, Pro AF headset by Victrix. And what I was wondering about this, and this is pretty much going to be an unboxing video, but uh, one of the main things I want to cover during this video is uh, this one says it's um, for PlayStation, but you can actually use it for both PlayStation and Xbox, even though the packaging says PlayStation. And I think that's just more of a uh, marketing tactic, um, just to make it to make things easier. Not necessarily to try to trick you into buying this. Maybe, but uh, more uh, so. You know, PlayStation um, owners have something to identify with, even though uh, they're the exact same head headset from Xbox and PlayStation. And I will explain why. Uh, I primarily play on PC, so this doesn't apply to me as much since I use like an external mic. Uh, I'll just get to unboxing this and then explain what it is I'm going to explain to you guys. Okay, so it's Victrix. So it's probably going to have some nice packaging. Sorry if the box hitting the the table is, well, it's got a lot of suction, is um, making some sound spikes on your end, which is why I'm wearing headphones now, by the way, because I was sitting here in my spot where I like to record videos and it makes it easier for me to monitor like how close I am to the mic or if I kind of put my hands down like that made like a, you know, a lot of bass sounds that I actually uh, edit in post um, through some multiband compressors and I use also uh, noise suppression but it comes with a layout of, of the headset explaining what everything is. Comes with the, um, it has a cooling vent feature, a mic mute button, adjustable removable mic boom, a volume dial, and a mic badge. So I'm just going to show you guys everything, the contents in the box. It does come with this uh, pretty, pretty big, um, microfiber cloth. And there is, probably won't be able to see it, but some Victrix kind of engraving into the cloth there. And this is, let's just open it. Cause I see, um, the splitter for PC. If you happen to want to use this mic on your PC, uh, this would be the splitter for you. There's a um, microphone icon on here. You probably can't see it on camera because my autofocus might focus on me more than the the uh, connectors there. This one's for to put in your headphone jack on on your PC, and this one's to go into the mic jack that I think is pink on your PC for an input jack, and then it'll be green for for your headphones, and then pink for your microphone. And this is <laughs> this is a custom tag that they're talking about. I think it's a scrub on there. Hopefully it's showing up on camera. And this is just an extension for your cord. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. It shows it right here. Uh, I'll explain this more just in a second. If it's showing up on camera. And here is the headset. Uh, the cable does not look like it's detachable. It is not. Okay, and here's here's the headset itself. This being the left side, and this being the right side. Uh, it's got a metal frame, which is nice because I had a set of um, Razer Man of Wars that was plastic, and uh, one time when I was gaming. 
playing some Overwatch and I went to put on the headset and the, the band ended up snapping and it sucks because that headset sounds really good. Okay, so um, and here of course is the the microphone boom, microphone, mi mic microphone boom. Um, and it's just got the one ring right there. You probably can't see it on camera very well, but here it is. I won't be using it since I have an external mic on my PC, which if any of you were wondering, um, I do stream on Twitch. Um, throughout the week, really, it's pretty much mostly during weeknights, sometimes during the weekends. Uh, anytime, usually past seven. I'm not as consistent on there, but if you go head over to my Twitch and just give me a follow, if you would like to do some gaming, I uh, play fighting games, uh, Nintendo Switch, Overwatch. I like to watch League of Legends. I don't play it as much. And I like to play like old arcade games and like old NES games and Super Nintendo games. Okay, so um, let's move right along to what I'm talking about here. And hopefully it shows up on the camera. I'm trying to trick my autofocus into focusing on this. But if you look here, it's probably not showing up. So this is probably not the greatest video. Maybe you can check um, on your setup yourself. Uh, this is what you call a TRRS like my, uh, input jack. So the T stands for tip. I really hope this is focusing for you guys. It looks like it is now. Okay, so tip, ring, ring, sleeve. And whenever you see this, this will be your left, right, microphone, and ground, okay? So if you see three black rings or three rings here, it was, um, what it sent, TRRS. So uh, what that means is that this will be in stereo, uh, your left channel, your right channel, your microphone. And this is the part that you can tell uh, it'll plug into your uh, PlayStation controller and you'll be able to use the microphone if you're using the microphone, um, the headset microphone, which just plugs in right here, I believe. Yeah, here, I'll just do it quick. I don't need to keep this in its packaging. I was just going to because I wasn't going to use it. Okay, so uh, the microphone just plugs in right here. Okay, and if you say that was pretty loud because it was loud on my end and I have these headphones on so I know not to do that or try not to. But the important thing is, is this uh, TRRR, TRRS uh, connector here. And on the extension, you can see it has that same thing. So anything that will read a TRRS uh, input will allow you to use that mic. But most of the stuff that you see, like this is an example of a TRS um, tip ring sleeve. And that is the tip for your left right channel. So it's stereo and then your ground, right? And there's ones where they're mono, like a guitar cable which would just be the tip and the ring. I know this one doesn't show up as black, but um, this is usually on the one channel. Like this is uh, my like a guitar cable. And this is the tip and the ring uh, input. And you can sometimes actually see that on other cables too, uh, that runs like uh, stuff in mono. And if you ever do run into that problem with a microphone with that kind of cable with this, uh, all you do in your either editing software or your um, audio, like voice audio software, like Audacity or Audition, you just uh, mirror that left channel. It's usually on the left, uh, left channel, also to your right channel, making it stereo. But for instance, or yeah, for instance, uh, this one is a, T R R S input. So I can use this on Xbox or uh, PlayStation. And the relevancy to that is 
uh, if you ever see a sale for the same kind of headset, the exact same brand, exact same model headset, but one of them's PlayStation and one of them's Xbox. Uh, if you see, if you make sure that it's, it's obviously going to be a TRRS uh, connector and that will be able to be used um, with PlayStation or Xbox. And uh, as long as it also has like the TRS, you can use it like for your switch too. And you'll get the sound, like the audio will be in stereo instead of mono, but most headsets won't come in mono. It's mostly like microphone and instrument cords that will come mono. And then you just, if you're playing guitar, you, you know, you can double track it obviously, or you can just like mirror it, uh, mirror it and uh, just put it on the right channel. Same with uh, audio. I I've actually ran into that problem before too. Uh, I had to actually, it confused me because my vocals were only coming out of the left side on a different microphone. And I had to go into the software and just put it on the left channel also uh, to make it sound stereo. Otherwise, it would just be coming out of the right side. And I was wondering what that was. And that's when I discovered that there are different types of connectors. See, this one has the tip in the ring, tip, ring, ring, sleeve. Or tip, right. Yeah, T, R, S. And then the TRRS is the one with the hopefully you can see that. Um, if you can't, you might not be able to, but if you can't uh, see that, just look up TRRS um, adapter or a connector or um, TRRS. And that, that, that's also true if you want to plug it into your phone. And then your phone will read that it has a TRRS uh, connection. And then that's how you would be able to even use this microphone to like record from your phone. Or like if you have a microphone and you're trying to plug it in to an adapter to your phone, make sure that adapter that goes into your phone has three rings um, so it can identify the microphone. But that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, straight shotting these videos like doing with in one take um it's kind of tricky because you have to move along uh pretty quickly because right now i see i'm going into 13 minutes and i was just trying to explain this as fast as i could without uh, stumbling over my words too much and without trying to over explain things but that's going to do it for the video this is the uh, victrix pro af headset and the difference, the major difference between this and the ANC is the ANC stands for the noise, uh, noise, active noise cancellation. And it comes with um, this like controller and it's like double in price. But here's some, the, the volume adjustment is right here. You probably can't see it cause it's in the way uh, for the, for the volume is right here. And that, there's a switch up here to, I believe that's to mute the mic, right? Something like that. Uh, my, the instructions like fell on the floor over there while I was doing this. Uh, but yeah, I'll just let you guys go. This is the Victrix Pro AF headset. And hopefully you guys learned something about your connectors too. Remember, um, if you want to know more, just look up TRRS like headphone jack or something. Okay. That's all I have for you guys. My name is Haleon and I will talk to you all later.